so many fun ways that you can use interactive PDFs, things that people can flick through and interact with, click on things, look at videos and audio, go to different links. You can create really fun interactive experiences that feel a bit like a magazine, but go even further because you can look at videos, you can listen to audios, you can click on links. And best of all, you can build these through Canva completely for free. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is an example, something I created at the end of last year that's sort of like a magazine catalog style thing. So if we have a look through, we've got here page numbers so we can link them, so we can link them to the actual pages. Then we've also got things like this where it's a button so we'd want to click that. So you'd want to design things where you think about I want people to add a click here and there. So in Canva you're going to go through and do all that design work where you basically design buttons. You're not going to make them interactive yet, you're just going to create the design. So you're going to think I want to have a link here, so I'm going to make something that looks clickable so that people know that that's going to be a link. So here we've got another link. Then I here I've got a magazine type thread with different products and I've got here the links again. So that's another thing that we can link. I've also got here another link, a whole heap of links here for different offers. Then we've got here where I'm going to embed a video. So what I've done is just simply taken a screenshot for now and put that image in and also put a button below saying listen now and then another link under here as well. So just think about what you want it to look like finally, and then we're gonna go in and add those things later on. So first go through and create your design. Think about what you wanna be adding. So all the links, make sure that they look clickable too, so that people will be aware of, oh, that's something that I can click on. So here I've underlined them, made a different color, so that people will know, oh, that's something I can probably click on. I've got here another video I'm going to embed. So for this one, all I've done again is taken a screenshot and put it in as an image. That way I know that's where I'm going to put that video. And on the final page here, we've also got some social media links here that we can turn into links. So they're just the icons. So what you want to do in Canva is basically just design it. Just think about the design and think about all the places you want to put links and make sure that it's going to be pretty clear to someone that's something they're going to be able to click. So it could be making it into a button, it could be underlining it, make it different color, things like that. So people would be aware that's something I may be able to click on. So once you've got your design and you're happy with it, you've got everything in place. Now we're going to go to share. You're going to choose more. And then you're going to type in here, hey Zion. Click on that. Now you want to make sure that you select all pages. So select all, it will try to do just the first 10. But so if you've got something that's more than 10 pages, make sure you select all pages so it doesn't lose any. Done and then save. And now we just need to wait for it. Now, if for any reason things don't work out and you get one of these where unable to publish your designs, you can go directly to Hayzine to take it in. So what you wanna do in Canva if this happens is go to share, download, and choose PDF standard and download. So if something goes wrong and it's just not working through Canva, that is the shortcut doing it through Canva, but if it's not working, download it as a PDF and we'll go over to Hayzion. So if Canva was able to transfer it for you, it should take you straight to Hayzion, whereas if it didn't, you're going to go to hayzion.com you're going to need to set up an account that way you don't lose it. So it will just get rid of it within seven days if you don't do that. So you need to go and log in, set up an account. It's completely free. You only need to pay if you want to have more files. So if you stay within their limits for free, you can have it completely for free. So if it didn't upload for you, so if you had any issues and it didn't upload for you, just come over to upload here and upload that PDF. Now you're going to come into the editor and this is where we're going to be able to add all our links and embed different things. So you see over on the side here, we've got lots of different things that we can utilize. So the first thing we're going to go through is find all the areas where we want to add links. So over here on the contents page, we'll probably want to link each of these to go to that page. So it's really quick for people to move around. If you want to add tabs in your design on the side so people can link there, you also want to add those links. So anywhere in here that you want to add links, you want to go page by page to add the links. So to do that, you go over here where it says link. Then you go over the area that you want to link. So say we want to link this here. Then it comes up with the options here. So it has go to page. So if we want it to go to page three, we can select that one. Then close. Now I'll show you an example of an external link. So over here, we've got here a button that we want to link somewhere. So again, we go to link. We're gonna select over that area. And this time we want to choose open link and that's where you can put the URL in. So go through each of your pages and add in all your links. 
Now coming to the video. So here I've got a picture of a video, but we want to actually embed a video. So what you want to do over on the side here is choose the one that says video. You're going to select the area where you want that video to go. So you go straight over your screenshot. Now you're going to put the URL for your video in. So here we're putting a YouTube one in, but you can see when you choose it, but you can also see if you click on this type one here, you can have a direct link video, YouTube video, Vimeo or uploaded. So there's a variety of ways you can add in videos there. So you just click enter once you put in your video and there it is in embedded. So you can close this now and you can see your video is now embedded. Now, once you've got it in there, if you want to see how it actually looks, so you don't want all this editing stuff over the top, you can click here, stop editing. And now it's going to show you how that's going to look. So looking at this page, we've got the links here. You can see as you hover over it, you can see that that's a link. And I've also got it embedded here. So you can see you can press play and it's playing within that. So once you've added all those things, you've added those links, you've embedded the videos you want to embed, make sure you press save so you don't lose all those edits you've made. You of course want to run through it, make sure that you haven't missed anything, added everything you want. If you have a look over on the side here, you can also add in other things. So you can add audio if you wanted to, maybe you want to make a page where it's got some music running on it. So if we click on this page, maybe we want some music just running on this page here. You can drop in an audio file with the library one, or you can put the link to an audio. So that's another option. So there's all these fun different elements you can add to it to make something really interactive and interesting. So people are able to click on links. They're able to listen to videos and audios and things like that. And if you have a look up the top here, we've also got background audio. So if we click on that, you can also add an audio that plays in the background. Now you might find that too distracting. You might not want to do that, but if that's something you do want to add, you have that option as well. So once you've finished with it and you're happy with it, you press save for the final time and everything is good to go. Now we can share it. So you can click here where it says share and you've got a few different options for sharing. So you can um, grab the link and just send the link directly to people. They can look at it that way. Or you can also um, embed it so you can make a website on your page and embed this on your website so people can flick through it on your website. So maybe you could put it in a blog post or on a separate page on your website, things like that. And it does have the option here to download. So if you go to download, you can download Flipbook, but I think you are going to need a reader app so that maybe not as accessible to people that you're sharing it with because they need to use an app to actually look at it. So I think the most accessible way to share it with people is to embed it on your website. That way they can just go to that link and go and look at it. And you've also got the option then to style it and make the page look just how you want, add any other details that you want to add to it. Or if you prefer just to send them straight to the link, if you don't want to do the embedding, just send them to the link. So if we go to the link here, as you can see, it just makes it full page. So if you send them directly to that, they can just straight away go through it, flick through, click on the links and all those things. So that's how you can use Canva and Hazein completely for free to create these beautiful flip books. So let me know in the comments below if you give this a go and what you create. And if you want to head start creating some of these, if you want something like a workbook template or a tabs template for creating the tabs on the side, things like that, make sure you check the links down below in the description because I have some really great templates that you can utilize to get you started. So that's all for today's tutorial. And if you'd like to learn more about using Canva, about graphic design and branding and creativity, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.